Hi, this is Josh Marshall from TPM Media. It's Thursday, November 15th, 2007. Everybody's heard of the military contractors in Iraq, the waste, fraud, and abuse, the way they're ripping off the U.S. government, not to mention incidents like happened a while back in Nisor Square in Baghdad, where a number of Blackwater military contractors killed more than a dozen Iraqis in what appears to have been an unprovoked incident. Now, when we hear about cost overruns, waste, ripoffs, stuff like that, Who's paying attention? Who's keeping an eye on these military contractors? One of these guys is Howard Cookie Krongard. He's the Inspector General of the Department of State. And contrary to what a lot of people think, a lot of these contracts are actually with the State Department rather than with the Defense Department. Now, Krongard has already generated a lot of controversy because it seems like most of his time has been spent covering for the contractors rather than looking out for the taxpayers. A couple examples are you have all this money being spent by the State Department in Iraq and Afghanistan. He's never once sent any State Department investigators or auditors to either country. There's other incidences like with the U.S. Embassy in Baghdad. Instead of sending a team to actually investigate it, he went over there himself for his own personal whitewash, came back, said there was no problems, even though now it turns out the place was a mountain of waste, fraud, and abuse. One of the biggest controversies with Krongard has been the way he seemed to stymie a number of investigations into Blackwater. And just yesterday, he went before the House Oversight Committee, and as soon as he sat down, he got confronted by Chairman Henry Waxman with the fact that his brother, Buzzy Krongard, they all have funny names in this family, actually sits on the advisory board of Blackwater, thus creating a pretty obvious conflict of interest. Now, at first, Krongard denied it, and it pretty much went downhill from there. Take a look at what happened. As Mr. Krongard revealed through some ill-advised comments, the company implicated in the weapons smuggling is Blackwater. We have now learned that Mr. Krongard's brother, Buzzy Krongard, serves on Blackwater's advisory board. We have also learned that Mr. Krongard concealed this apparent conflict of interest from his own deputy, even as he remained actively involved in monitoring the Justice Department's criminal investigation. I would make a comment if I could, because one thing just came up that um, really does bother me, and that was an allegation concerning my brother. Um, I can tell you very frankly, I am not aware of any financial interest or position he has with respect to Blackwater. Uh, I, it, it, it couldn't possibly have affected anything I've done because I don't believe it. And when these ugly rumors started recently, I specifically asked him, I do not believe it is true that he is a member of the advisory board that you stated. And that's something I think I need to say. I would like to show you a letter the committee obtained and ask you to comment on it. This letter was sent from Eric Prince, the CEO and founder of Blackwater. He showed that letter on July 26, 2007. Mr. Prince sent this letter to Alvin uh, Buzzy Cron Crongard, your, your brother. The letter invites him to serve on Blackwater's Worldwide Advisory Board. And this is Mr. Prince to your brother, the one that you said isn't involved with Blackwater. Now, here's the second document. This is a September 5th email that Eric Prince sent to your brother. It says, quote, welcome and thank you for accepting the invitation to be a member of the board. My question is this, did you know that your brother, Bussy Krungard, is on Blackwater's Advisory Board? Sir, I dispute that. As far as I know, that is not correct. There is nothing in here that suggests that my brother accepted this July 26 invitation. I don't see anything in here that suggests my brother accepted or attended. And as far as I know, he did neither. During the break, I did contact my yes. brother. I reached him at home. He is not at the hotel. But I learned that he had been at the advisory board meeting yesterday. I had not been aware of that, and I want to state on the record right now that I hereby recuse myself from any matters having to do with Blackwater. I see. You indicated you had called your brother to ask him earlier whether he was on the board. He told you he wasn't. Well, that was about six weeks ago, and I was not aware. And this board meeting happened yesterday, and I found out just during the break that he had, in fact, attended yesterday. So there you have it, the State Department Inspector General, the guy 
charged with overseeing Blackwater turns out to have a direct conflict of interest because his brother sits on one of Blackwater's boards. All right, now it gets even better than that. Now, as you saw, Howard Krongard said his brother never told him he sat on this Blackwater board. Well, it turns out after the hearing ended today, our reporter Spencer Ackerman got the brother on the phone, that's Buzzy Krongard, got him on the phone and asked him, hey, did you really never tell your brother you sat on this Blackwater board? And the brother said, I certainly did. So now it looks like the first brother, Howard Krongard, has a perjury problem on his hands. We'll keep looking at this, and when we find out more, we'll bring it to you. I'm Josh Marshall from TPM Media, and we'll talk to you next week.